Hi guys, welcome back to the new video in the playlist. Today we will be going to see how to create an onboarding screen in Jetpack Compose using Accompanist APIs. It's like that most applications usually require an onboarding screen. Uh, so this helps users get started with the app. So most onboarding screens are usually three screens where the users have to swipe horizontally and see all the screens required and when they are done, they can click a button to get started with the app. So come on, let's see. So okay, let's start with adding dependencies. So we'll first add move to build.gradle file and we'll add dependencies for pager and pager indicators. Okay, now we'll create a data class to represent each screen so how is the screen or a page structure so each has a title description and a image so for this uh, we will create a data class okay so I have created a data class page with a variable title with and the description and a image And then next, after creating this, so we will create a list of pages with three items as our data source. You can see, okay. So I have created a variable onboarding pages with a list of pages. So which will consist of a, a title, a description and an image. So we will have a three onboarding pages screens so the content for the three onboarding screens will be under this list so and then next is step is so we will create a composable to represent each page uh, so a simple column comprising an image title and description so first of all I have created a package view and then inside that I'll be creating a Kotlin file with the name onboarding screen okay and then finally we'll be creating a composable function and then so we'll be designing our ui over here so i have created a column so column will consist of a so column will be like uh, consist of a image and the text for title and text for description so for that so we'll be sent. Uh, we'll be arranged aligning this in the center horizontally. So for the image, we'll be getting our image from our page. So that that's a list which we created. So if you want to know more about the composable functions and the UI in Compose, then please watch my previous videos in the playlist. Okay, so next to this image, so we'll add a spacer. So, so uh, there will be a space after adding an image. So, so we'll give it a height of twenty dp, and then after space, uh, we'll add our title. So our title text for the page. So and then we are loading this title from our list of page. So we'll assign our font size and the font weight. So it should be bold. Okay. So and then next is so we'll add a little bit of space after adding our text. And then next we will add our description inside that. So and then next we'll add a little bit space at the bottom of this. So and then next we'll be adding a button right. So so this is our completion of our UI. So 
So the next is we are all set to create our onboarding UI. So at this point, so we will use horizontal pager in our case. So because we want our users to swipe horizontally, right? So the horizontal pager requires us to pass to it to the number of pages we want. So it will be something like a initial off screen limit. Okay, so and the page count. So first we'll move to our main activity and then we'll create a composable function for onboarding UI. And inside that I'm creating a on click function. So we'll do this uh, later on. So first we'll just focus on our onboarding screens on horizontal pager in our case. So to want our users to swipe horizontally, right? First we'll create a variable, so pager state and we'll add remember pager state and we'll assign our page count to be three. So we'll set our page count as three. Okay, so for this error, we need to add runtime dot star. Then it won't show us. Okay, then then we'll uh, so for our onboarding UI, we'll be creating a column. So the column consists of a text. So a skip a small skip text under the left right corner of our screen. So in the screen, as we are going to design. And then we'll add our modifier to align our maximum width and we'll also see our padding and then we'll also use our clickable operation inside this. So and then next we will be uh, doing our horizontal pager and then we'll add our pager state. So then we'll also add our modifier to fill our maximum width. width. And then inside this we will add our page and our page UI which consists of our list of pages like in the onboarding pages. So which we have already designed. So our page UI, so in this pager scope, so we'll add page UI and inside this page we'll add our onboard pages. Okay, so inside this page we'll add our page. Okay, then then and the next thing is we will be also doing our horizontal pager indicator so that three dots at the bottom so that indicates our uh, pager so you can see I have given a horizontal pager indicator and it will be aligned or center horizontally and then the next thing is I have given an animated visibility for the button so our button let's start will be animated only when it's landed at the final page so it's like that so the initial off screen limit is set to two uh, meaning is that one page should be retained on either side of the current page right so by default the value is one so so we don't need to uh, really need to specify it so we will have our actual screen to be a column so i have given a text and a horizontal pager and also we'll be uh, displaying our get let's start button only when the user is on the final page as i said and also the clicking uh, skip uh, at the top corner will perform the same action as the get let's start button do so we want that when our user clicks get started right so it will be moving to our next screen and it should not show our onboarding screen again so this is what we are doing right now and then uh, let's add our composable function onboarding ui under our set content 
and then we'll run our application now we'll see our output we can see see how our output displays our horizontal pager so it's our three page so at the final page we'll get our let's start button displayed but with the animation and the left top corner consists of a skip button so that's all i wanted you to show in this video and then we'll see you in the next video until then i wish you an awesome day bye bye